For millions of Afghani girls, this might be the only education they will ever receive. Camilla Almagir has been living in India for the past 25 years. And now any prospect of going back to Afghanistan has been pushed further away by the Taliban's takeover. The Taliban do not want women to get out of their homes, study and have their own identity. They want women to be confined to their houses and not to go out and work. We are worried about that. The dreams of all the women and girls living in Afghanistan are shattered. Thousands of Afghan refugees have been living in India, mostly in the capital, New Delhi. Thousands more are now trying to flee their country, as another refugee crisis looms. The Taliban ruled Afghanistan between 1996 and 2001. They did not allow women to work or girls to attend school. Everyone is scared of the Taliban in Afghanistan. It's a very bad situation there. Everyone is trying to save their lives. Some people are fleeing to Pakistan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan through roads, while some are fleeing to India, Canada and the U.S. through airways. Afghans comprise the third largest refugee population in the world after Syria and Venezuela, according to the UN Refugee Agency. 2.6 million have fled their homeland, some coming here to the Greek island of Lesbos. And recent events are expected to push even more migrants into Europe. 2,500 Afghans living on the island have been holding protests against the Taliban takeover. It's disaster, I don't know. As an Afghan, I expect from the world, please support Afghanistan. Don't leave Afghan people alone. After two decades of a war which took countless innocent lives, produced millions of refugees and cost two trillion dollars, it has come full circle from where it started, with fear, hopelessness and more uncertainty ahead. Hadi Al-Alawi, TRT World.